just a conversation, man. We're literally just gonna have a conversation. There's nothing to it. There's no structure. There's no concept. We're just having a chat. We're literally right? just chatting. It's just a conversation. It can go anywhere, and it, we could end up talking about anything. Right. Um, we've decided recently that you know with the with the work we do, and all the social media covering that we're doing at the moment, see so video imagery, um, and all the different kind of forms. The the one thing we're missing generally as a brand is kind of tracking our personality in thoughts of opinion on certain topics and who we are you know you've seen a haircut you've seen a video and it's all the same you know we're, we're very much against the regurgitated kind of presence of uh barbering you see all the time with in hairdressing and barbering though we're kind of trying to stretch out now um so people in the city and you know potential clients or anyone watching us as a brand online that might appreciate what we're doing can kind of say who we are and um, you know, I look, have a further impression of the depth of what we're what doing. We do, yeah. You know, meet Nathan, meet me. You know, kind of see if you share the same opinions on certain matters. So, yeah. so it can be a conversation, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Casual, think, yeah, really yeah. casual, laid back. There's no, there's not going to be, if any, there won't be much yeah. structure to the. Well, even today we've not, we've not really spoke about what we're going to talk about. We're just going to no. get it going with something. The way we are. We are, we're trying to angle things differently, aren't we? We're not, we're not trying to be barbers for, you know, the industry and furthering, you know, the heritage and that. We're trying to kind of translate an idea, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. As to what, you know, a new path in kind of this industry. And I think you, you more so than me, kind of highlight the fashion element more. Yeah. Who, who, who are your kind of influences then? For fashion? Just generally, why do you do it constantly? Why is it you I kind of stay in? I think it's a... It's a shit answer, man. It's a proper low answer because it's just gonna. I'm just gonna say. I think I'm. I'm inspired by myself, <laughs> which is an easy way out, isn't it? <laughs> but because I don't have, I don't have anyone to look to. Um, you can say you look on Instagram. You can say you look online. You can say there's a couple of people what are cool online, but I wouldn't say I'm. I wouldn't say I'm fully inspired by them. I think I'm more inspired for the fact for me trying to still fully find myself as a person. Like as it when it comes to dressings, I don't have a certain style. I could, I've never been able to pinpoint like I dress a certain kind of way. I dress minimal. I dress rock. I dress gothic. I don't. I don't have a certain style. I'll dress different most days. Mm. So I can't. I can't pinpoint what my what my inspiration is or where it's coming from. Yeah, I, th I think that like no, a lot of people don't understand that as to be arrogant. But I know genu being genuine and being an original article, it's hard to kind of tie yourself to anyone else yeah, so yeah, when you say that there. people don't you know people might think that you're you know you're a bit sure yourself but i think yeah, yeah it's, it's comes from an organic kind of place isn't it yeah yeah it's a definitely. bit more kind of no ego almost mm. just finding out what what lane you want to be in man 100 percent. because yeah. I, I don't i don't i actually don't have a clue yeah. what what i, I what yeah. i do dress wise i think we 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 look at haircuts don't we we can look at a haircut and go yeah that's that's nuts that's good yeah, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. But I think we end up doing the same in a way and coming across the, you know, the same in a way because we're cutting hair all the time. But, you know, we're not trying to mimic or copy anyone else. It's just a case of, you know, we're waiting for the, the right clients, the right people to come in so we can start putting our type of work out. And we get that sometimes, don't we? But, you know, at the moment, we're just kind of evolving, aren't we? So Yeah. As it stands, we're happy with everything we've got at the minute. Mm. We're very, very happy with what we've got. Um, in terms of going forward, there's stuff that we're already doing, we've already got yeah. stuff in plan and in motion going forward to go in the direction that we want to take our brand, coming away from the barber, barbering realm, the typical barber realm. Yeah. Um, barber realm's not really, it's not really me, I don't, it's not really us, is it? No. Nah. The, the typical barber element. I think, think yeah, I think we'd like to have it as a picture of quarters maybe, you know, we, we Obviously, we're cutting hair throughout the day to meet people and function as a business, but you know we also want to be indulging in other things, don't we? Within the you know in future spaces and yeah, you know, yeah. we want to kind of reconnect. You want to reconnect with fashion, hundred percent. And I want to reconnect with art, and hopefully we can kind of bring that in. But that's what we struggle to understand at the moment, isn't it? And yeah. show people. Yeah. Um, but you know we're already what it's we're nine months old or something. We're full almost. Almost full, yeah. And we just want another surge of people and people to kind of 
get our brand a little bit more so we can further fuel it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's, t it's taken it, it's, it's taken us what we've done now to get to where we are. We've just, we've just primarily been cutting a lot of hair all day, every day, just cutting hair to get to where we are now. And now we're, uh, we're kind of comfortable in the level of clients we've got. We're not forcing, trying to force, forcefully market to get more people in. It's quite, mm. quite so cutting quite comfortably. Yeah. Where we can now start channeling um, our thoughts more for you, it'll be art, getting more into your art and yeah. bringing art in. And for me, I can channel more into fashion again, doing fashion, being involved in fashion somehow, some way or another. And we can do that now. We've got now we can lax off a little bit. We've got more breath to take down them avenues. What changes have you seen in yourself personally in the last like nine, ten months since we started this? Uh, changed in the brand just generally like you know what's your in just yeah just as a person yeah since you started um, doing cutting hair definitely a lot well, you know better than this anyway a, a level a level i think definitely a, a level of optimism has kicked in yeah and because i can see where this has gone in nine months imagine what you can do in another nine months yeah there's no part that i don't see myself going stale mate i just want us to keep going up and yeah. to keep doing that you, that's what's gonna yeah. but when bringing other things in that's what's gonna help elevate it's when if we just stuck to cutting air mm. that's when it just plateau and just yeah i think we're both down. pretty high paced aren't we to be fair you yeah. just want to like you know we said we'd do this and then after not even getting to the first thing we're like oh we'll do this now and that carried us through the first goal and the next goal and we just keep going and going and going yeah constantly yeah. want to diversify always yeah. Always onto something new. <laughs> Waste yeah. a lot of money, man. Yeah. <laughs> I've thrown we a lot do, of money. We do, yeah, we probably do too much to be fair, but that's kinda proves our loyalty to what we do because we could do so many other things yeah. with our time. Not only because we're great at it, but we always want to do extra. everything. So the you fact that we're putting spending time with that person yeah. means that we, we value our shit, you know what I mean? Very true, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's just with with her, men's hair especially, it's I like how it's on a shorter scale. I, f I feel like I'll, pr I'll probably get fucking told by loads of people that I'm so wrong, but I feel like I can do so much more with shorter hair. Yeah, it's more probably a lot of people out there are gonna yeah. say no, there's, there's no, you can do more with longer hair. But for me, you, you're working on fractions and fractions of millimeters, so that's a different hairstyle. Every every fraction of a millimeter. Yeah. Same with women's. To be fair, if it's a fractional difference, it's gonna be a different hair. Haircut and style. I think because we, we we just like meeting people, don't we? We're meeting people a lot, and when you're cutting men's, you got short appointment times. Yeah, yeah. Cutting women's, no offense to anyone, but for me, I don't want to spend yeah, all day yeah. with two people. You know, it's a great product, and you get to know two people. But we're all about networking. We're creatives, aren't exactly we? So it's that. not like you know, it's more in, it's more encouraging for us, and you know, it kind of breaks up what we do. It's a bit more high paced. It suits our pace of work, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. You know, not high volume, but very vari like a variation of people. Yeah. Every day. Um, Keeps it interesting. There's yeah. a new conversation every forty minutes. Yeah. Which is nice. I think Manchester's been like, especially for me coming back. I like an idea of what we, what we wanted to do in that, but it's definitely right so far in terms of what what we plan and what we what we what we do on a daily basis. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, we. It's diverse, isn't it, Manchester? It's yeah. got it's got a lot going on, and there's enough people for everyone yeah. to do your own thing in your own lane. Um, I think I don't think there's another place in the UK I'd I'd rather be. I don't def I couldn't see myself in London. I think fresh ideas are taking quite well it, rather yeah. than everywhere else. Yeah, I think yeah. all that kind of stagnant nature, you know. There's a lot more acceptance here, isn't there? Maybe it's because there's like tons of internationals here and unis, but I think we're getting good traction on everything we're doing so far. Yeah, yeah. That's looking good. I'm 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 happy with the process and the progress. Yeah. It's looking nice. Um with with Manchester it's just I've started realising it's very industrial focused man. Everyone wants it to, to everything to be rustic, vintage, industrial, old and done. There's nothing new or looks new. Or is 
there's a, there's a level of class in there at all. It's, yeah. it's very, there might be some people might say spinning field or castle field, or, but it's, uh, as a whole, it's industrial, yeah, very it's all, industrial. It's all focused on the same stimulus, really, isn't it? It's the brickwork, it's the Manchester yeah. heritage, and because we're both not from here, well, you're on the outskirts, I'm not from here. Yeah. You know, I've never, I've got no ties to, you know, I, I don't really know much about Manchester per se, which is why it's interesting meeting people. But yeah, I think what we're gonna do is, and what we're doing now is gonna take it stand in its as it, you know, represent itself as a standalone in it even more so in the future. 100%, yeah, definitely. But yeah, um, you do see that a lot, like around here. It's good that it has like a uniform kind of look of feel. So when people come from outside, they go, "Oh, that's Manchester," and you can bracket it off. Yeah. You know the experience, but. Don't we're trying to give people an experience that isn't really that per, you know that actual thing to give them like a new kind of controversial yeah you couldn't you couldn't pinpoint take, if, yeah. you, if someone was to describe the um our shop and like the inspiration where it's come from where we take inspiration from so city wise i don't think you could pinpoint where this no. has been inspired from it's difficult isn't it really I can't, I don't, there's, there's so many elements to it. I can't, I'd probably struggle to try and pin, yeah. pinpoint one city on this, what, where th this has been inspired from. So when, we, when we're doing it, when we're decorating or when we've got an idea, it just kind of happens, unfolds quite quickly. We yeah. don't really, un you know, we don't understand it enough. Before no, we just say it and it falls out. Yeah. You know, it needs to be this colour, it needs to be this, this, this and this, but we don't really know where we got it from. Yeah. It's I don't know, I reckon I'd, it's like, I don't know. I, I've always had like certain the certain kind of visuals, but I know over time, I'm not too sure. Like you say, it's cartoony slightly at the moment, don't you? But it is a bit cartoony it's to me. It's because it's that fresh. It's because the the colours are maybe the bright. Yeah, the they're so different. It looks almost like it's a, like a, a studio. Yeah. Like a set or something. Yeah. It's all yeah. a bit like phony. The colours, but. Yeah. I think I don't know. There's like a Berlin element to it. It's definitely not clinical, but I think it should. Because it's, it it's, it's own we're thing. Used isn't it, right? to, we're used to the the you know we're used to the the way where it else looks. Yeah. So um, it's it's hard to say, man. It's hard to say what what it's actually come from. But w as this stands now, this took a lot of inspiration from Refuge Bar. <laughs> Yeah, it's good though. That's what, what yeah, like we sick. go out, don't we? And then we we go, oh, that's sick. This is sick. That's a sick color. Yeah. You know, oh, they're next level. Them lights. Check that chair over there. And yeah. like, it's, it goes it's in, in there, isn't it? Isn't it? And once yeah. we when 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 we did the flooring and the roof, I don't think we knew it was gonna look like that as much as it does until after we did it. No. And after we did it, we was like, oh, this looks like. Looks like that bar we were in last <laughs> week, you know. Yeah, we don't even think about it. But that's just because we're like so easily influenced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very, very yeah. easily influenced. It doesn't take much, does it? You just think sick. Mm. I've always been like, I mold, I just mold myself to. You know, I go to Amsterdam, I start dressing a certain way. I come here, I start dressing another way. I'm so like, I'm just a <laughs> lizard. Do you know what I mean? Blending <laughs> in, blending in. Like the accents, no, nah, nah, the accents always been the same. But it just you have to change and just that. Like, I don't even realise that, yeah, I just take on the surroundings so quick. It's yeah. like three, four months somewhere and I, I want to be same. another guy. Like. I'm the same with accents, man. I pick up accents pretty quick, you know. I could be yeah. somewhere for two weeks and I've got the twang on yeah. and it's pretty shit, to be fair. Yeah. It's annoying. And it gets picked up on pretty quick. Mm. Um, so I keep myself, stay in Manchester quite a lot, mm. um, just to keep myself within the, within, within the circle of people of Manchester. Yeah. If I'm always around Manchester, I can always be seen around Manchester, and just known to yeah. just known to be around all the time, which then brings people in as well. Yeah. I, think, I think there's an element of like open mindedness. We're both very pretty open minded, aren't we? Uh, very, very, you know, very. and that's what it comes across. Like you know, we're not. It's not. We're not. We're not. Not picky. What's the word, man? We're not. Don't know how to, we're not, we don't categorise Exper anything, experimental, do we? Yeah, we're just experimental in what we do generally. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. We'd always back something that's of worth in any way, you know, if, to, if it's even not in our taste, we're like, yeah. You can appreciate it. Yeah, that's nice. You yeah. can understand like what someone's done or. The work, what's gone into it. Yeah, 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 appreciation. We've got an appreciation for quite, for almost everything what's been thought about. Yeah. If something's been creatively thought about or been passionately thought about, we we can understand. Mm. We can generally understand it and appreciate 
the idea and the concept. No, we've always said, isn't it? We just we only fuck with passion, like. Yeah. yeah. Simple as, isn't it? And we, do, we do. We yeah, actually do. Think about the people so, working with. Yeah. Like, you know, like even Joe or you know Storm videographers. Yeah. People DJs, they all re- replicate the same kind of notion in what they're doing, don't they? Yeah. They want to strive, make make an impression, be the next generation of like Manchester. Yeah. It's you, we try and you tr- you're trying to help, not like like we're better than them in a sense, or we know anything more than them. But we, when we find someone passionate, or we come across someone who's passionate, we try and get them involved with us. Don't we mm. try to help them in any way, shape, or form that we can. But then you end up getting fucking backstabbed quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> not mentioning no names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you end up you you give someone an idea. Yeah. Or you motivate someone to do something for the We can't themselves. be too generous, like, can't we? Yeah, we're too Even welcoming yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Well, we, we we're just too quick to give. Mm. This is what we should. This is what you should do. This is how we we can help you. This is why you should do it. Yeah. Get it fucking done. We can see you're passionate about it, so we want to help you Let's and get involved yeah. wherever we can. Yeah. But some people just they take that idea, yeah. which is fair you enough. You, they don't want it. you can overstretch sometimes, can't you? And you know, if it's particularly with the wrong person or something, then. It's not, you don't get anything back from them, but it doesn't really stay in us, to be fair, does it? We just do it to the, out no. the next person, out the next person out. Yeah. It's not really... Um, it doesn't really cause much of a, an effect. Mm. It's... I don't know, man. It's fucking cold. <laughs> What's next? <laughs>